Hello friends, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome again to another Java Swing video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the J password field. The J password field is a component that allows you to edit a single line of text where the view indicates that something was typed, but it does not show the original characters. So let's get to the code. We have our original starting point with a new project. The first thing I'm going to do is to set a new layout for our J frame as a flow layout. And I'm also going to create a J label, a J password field, and a J button. First for the flow layout, our imports with control shift O. I'm going to explicitly set the alignment within the flow layout to left. Flow layout dot left. And I'm going to set the horizontal and vertical gap between components that are going to be added to our flow layout. Layout dot set H gap pixels and layout dot set vertical gap also at 10 pixels. Now this can be done when you're creating the flow layout by specifying an alternate constructor but I like to do them separately and it is explicitly showing what I'm doing to the layout. Once we've created and configured our layout we'll add it to our J frame frame.setLayout, layout, then we'll create the three components, the J label, the J password field, and the J button. I've already set up private instance variables for those three components, J label, J password field, and J button. So we will say label equals new J label. Enter password. We'll create the password field object. Password field equals new J password field. We'll specify 10 as the initial number of columns for the J password field. Next, we'll create a J button. Button equals new J button. Check. We'll then add these three controls to our J frame. Frame.add label frame.add password field and frame.add button. We'll right click on the project name. We'll run as a Java application and we see our J frame with a title and the three components that we created. The J label, the J password field, and the J button. Now we can type into the J password field. And what we type in the J password field is not echoed to the screen, but it is replaced in the view with small black circles. Let's also add an action listener to our button so that we can get the value of the J password field. Button dot add action listener new action listener we'll import the action listener and then we will add the unimplemented action performed method 
And here is where we will get the value that has been entered into our jpassword field. Password field dot get password. And you'll notice that this method returns a character array. Now this is for security and I'll post a link to a couple of articles in the description for this video for anyone who's interested in learning a little more about why we're doing this in a character array as opposed to directly going to a string. So get password field and we'll assign that to a character array. Character array pf password field equals password field dot get password. Let's now convert this character array to a string. String value equals new string password field. And then we'll echo this to the Eclipse console. Sys out password. value. Let's run and test that. We'll enter a password. Let me come in. We'll check and the password that we get from the password field is let me come in. We can also set a value for the password field. Password field dot set text. let me come in. We'll run. Now we'll see in the password field we have an initial value. So we don't need to type anything, but we can check by clicking on our check button. And it's the value that we set. Let me come in. And the last thing that I wanted to show you for the password field is the fact that you can set your own echo character if you don't like the one that is provided by default. We have a method that's called set echo character. So password field dot set echo character will run. And now you should see the echo character for the password that we set within the program is now the hash marks instead of the little black circles. Still clicking on check, you see the value is the same. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out again today. I appreciate it as always, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.